Muremi Mwangi, KTN News in Nairobi. And as the deadline expires tonight, 40 applicants have submitted their forms to join the East Africa Legislative Assembly. The applicants include six former members of parliament, as Chris Tairu now reports. For the last five months, the Arusha-based East Africa Legislative Assembly has been unable to conduct any business or hold sessions since the term of that assembly ended in June. Reason? The Kenyan Legislative Assembly, the both houses, are behind schedule. In fact, we have kept that assembly in limbo. They have not yet elected a speaker, and the members have not been sworn in because... Uh, Kenya has not submitted its nine members. Efforts by the 11th parliament to debate and adopt the list of IALA members from political parties hit a snag after Jubilee Party and NASA coalition differed on the numbers that each party enjoys, going by the party strength in both houses. Jubilee, ODM and WIPA are the only parliamentary parties who can dominate individuals to compete for the nine slots in the East African Legislative Assembly. And in this uh, uh, arithmetic that we have done, based on the party strength, Jubilee will have six slots, uh, ODM will have two slots, and WIPA will have one slot. Together with affiliates, qualify. Affiliates have added even parties which Jubilee claims to be their affiliates and they don't even have a registered document they qualify to have 5.38 members. NASA qualifies to have 3.61 members. Now, if you round off the figures, because you can't have point of a person, Jubilee will have five, NASA will have four. And the political differences delayed the process, forcing Speaker Justin Muturi to ask that the process starts afresh and Thursday evening was the deadline for submitting the application forms for those interested. Among those who have already submitted the applications include Kalonzo Musyoka's son, Kennedy Musyoka, on a WIPA ticket, politicians Moses Ole Sakuda, Danson Mungatana, Kalem Bendile, Simon Bogwa, Mohamed Aden. Former IALA members who have applied include Mumbi Ngaru, Joseph Kiangoi, Abdi Ogale, and Nancy Abisai. NASA leader Raila Odinga, elder brother Oburu Odinga, had collected the application forms, but it is not clear whether he has already returned them. Our timeline to submit our names will be by the end of this month. By 30th of November, the two houses must have conducted the elections to elect the nine members who will represent us in the East African Legislative Assembly. However, two sitting MPs have dismissed reports from the clerk's office that they are among those who are interested in the Yala job. They include Mwingi North MP Paul Nzegu and Kakamega Women Rep Elise Mohanda. The criteria for the job includes that one must first resign from the current parliamentary positions. Compared with parliament, the Yala post is less prestigious and has fewer benefits. Currently, MPs earn a gross salary of 621,000 shillings a month. They are entitled to mileage reimbursement and they manage the recreative CADF kitty. Their Iala counterparts earn 1.4 million shillings monthly, inclusive of all allowances. When Parliament resumes its sessions from the three weeks break next week, top on the agenda will be to approve the nine names so that the legislative agenda at the Arusha-based assembly can resume.